Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, put those hands together for the Lord. Come on, give all the people word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, Shabbat. The Lord with me. Come on, Shabbat. The Lord with me. Come on, Shabbat. The Lord with me. Come on, Shabbat. The Lord. Great. 
Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord some praise, some glory, and some honor. Come on, clap your hands, open up your mouth, and give the Lord a shout of victory tonight. Come on, it's not that many of us. So we got to fill it for the gap. Come on, open up your mouth. Come on, let's give God some praise. Come on, clap your hands, say, give them some glory, for God is worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a praise. First thing, you got something for us. Come on. Come on, give the Lord some praise in the house. Come on, come on, y'all ain't praising him. Come on, clap your hands. Give the Lord some glory. He is worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. Glory. Bless your name. Amen. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank God for another day. Those of you that can stand, stand with us, please, all over the house. Amen. All over the house, if you stand. So we go into a word of prayer. For those that's on the line, we have um, about 20-something people on the conference line on this morning. I want to say happy Mother's Day to those of you that are here in the church and those of you that are on the line. Happy Mother's Day to you and those of you that will be viewing later on by way of YouTube. Happy Mother's Day to you as well. Amen? It is good to be back in the house of God. Like the songwriter said, just another day, the Lord has kept us. He has kept me with my mind stayed on him. Amen. God is good. Somebody shout, God is good. All the time and all the time, God is good. Father, we thank you in the master's name of your son, Jesus Christ. God, we give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. We thank you, God, for another day. You didn't have to keep us. You didn't have to allow us to wake up on this morning. But you touched us, oh God, with your hand of grace and mercy. And we're grateful on this afternoon. We thank you, God, for hands that we still have the ability to wave. Somebody got hands, but they can't wave them. Thank you for eyes that we can see with. Somebody has eyes, but they can't see with them. Thank you for the ears that we can hear with. Somebody got ears, but they can't hit with them. God, we thank you for the legs to walk on. Nobody had to roll us in here. And God, we give you the praise, the glory, and the honor even now for the things that you have done. Now, God, give us a word. Give us a word that'll take us from our low place to our high place. Give us a word that'll take us from poverty to riches. Give us a word that'll take us from sickness to health. And God, if you do these things, we'll give you all the praise, the glory, and honor in Jesus' mighty name. Can you shout amen and give God a hand praise? Amen. Before you take your seats all over the house, come on, give the Lord praise. Amen. Amen. We thank God again for another day. We thank God for those that are here live in the sanctuary. We thank you that are live on the telephone conference line. 
And we thank God for those that will be viewing later on by way of YouTube. Amen. We're trying to get some things together. Amen. I believe by next week we will have, amen, things a little bit better together. Amen. I believe by next week we'll have the our musicians here. They were supposed to be here today, but nevertheless, we are here. And I don't know about you, but I'm excited to be back in the house of God. I'm glad to be back in the number one more time. Amen. Going right directly to the word of the Lord. We want to enjoy our Mother's Day on today. So I want to thank God for our church. Amen. She uh, she is too young to be called a mother, but she's a mother anyway. Our first lady pastor, Darlene Young, who is the mother of the church. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Our spiritual mother. Amen. Looking like she's about 19. Uh-huh. God bless your spiritual mother. Amen. To all the mothers in the house. Amen. To my daughters, to my daughter who is a mother, and my other daughter, the mother to be. We thank God for you. Amen. And we're going to the Word of God. If you have your Bibles, uh, I promise I won't be long, but there is a word from God. Amen. I was hoping we had some musicians here, but I really, really, really want to give God some praise on this morning. If necessary, I put my phone on and put my shouting music in. Y'all don't know me. Amen. The other day, my granddaughter and I was in the house, and she said, okay, Pop Pop, it's time to shout. Put on the shouting music. And we put the shop music on and we just danced till I couldn't dance no more. Amen. How many of you know that the joy of the Lord is real? Is anybody in this house? I said the joy of the Lord is real. Amen. You don't need certain people to have joy. Joy comes from the inside. And before you know it, the joy will start working on the outside. From the book of St. Matthew. Amen. And the 12th chapter, and I think I'll begin reading at the ninth verse. St. Matthew, the 12th chapter and the ninth verse. Very familiar story. Amen. See if we can grab some jewels, some revelations out of this story. Amen. St. Matthew, amen. Thank God for last week's service. I believe last week's service was at my house. Amen. In our living room. And I had the speaker on and uh, <laughs> I had the system blasting and my wife she said, what in the world? <laughs> I said, yeah, I'll come to have church. Amen. So we did have church in the living room on last Sunday. Amen. And so we thank God for those of you that have been faithfully following us on the conference line. We thank you for that. Thank God for the work that has been done in the church. Amen. We're not done. We just started, but we got a lot of stuff that we're doing. Amen. In the church. Amen. Yes. Matthew, the 12th chapter. Amen. And I'm going to switch it to my preaching voice now. Matthew, the 12th chapter, and the ninth verse, the word of God reads on this wise. And when he was left from there, or departed from there, he went into the synagogue or the house of prayer. And behold, there was a man which had his hand withered. And they asked him, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath day that they may accuse him? And he said unto them, What man shall there be among you that shall have one sheep, and if it fall into a pit on the Sabbath day, will not lay hands on it and lift it out? How much then is a man better than a sheep? Somebody say amen. amen. Wherefore it is lawful to do well on the Sabbath day. Then said he to the man, stretch forth thy hand. And he stretched forth his hand. And it was restored whole and just as new as the other one. Can you say amen? amen. I want to just leave a text tonight, uh, uh, a very familiar pre um, text tonight. And it is simply stretch forth. Somebody say amen. amen. I wonder if you just help me. There's only a few of us up in here. But I wonder if you just help me with a real loud voice, act like you're at the football game that we can't go to, and just say, stretch forth. Stretch forth. Now, you know if you was at that Eagles game, you'd be louder than that. Say, stretch forth. Stretch forth. Amen. Amen. I want to talk just for a couple of minutes, and I won't wear your patience on today so you can go and enjoy your Mother's Day dinner. Amen. But uh, there's a couple of things that I've noticed here 
in the text. Amen. Number one, you got to notice the description of the man in the text. Amen. The Bible here tells us, amen, of the description of the man. It does not give us his name. It does not give us his lineage. It does not give us, amen, his whereabouts. It doesn't tell us who his mother nor his father is. But simply it says there was a man. And the only description that we have about this man is that he has a withered hand. Somebody say amen. It's amazing to me, people of God, that people don't know you, but they like to know you based upon your issues. Can you shout hallelujah? We're living in a day when people think they know you because they know your issues. But I come to tell the church, amen, that our issues do not define who we are. We are greater than our issues. I wish I had just about three people in the church. We are greater than what we have to deal with. Let me just drop this one on parenthetically. We are all going through something. Can you say amen? Young, old, and middle age, and even those that in between the millennials, we are all going through something. Teenagers, young people, amen, are going through something. I tell folk all the time, we got to pray for our young people. We got to pray for, I ain't got no help here. We got to pray for our teenagers, amen. Because today they're dealing with more than we had to deal with in our day. Come on, say amen. The truth of the matter is, when we were growing up, amen, I believe I got some witnesses up in here. Amen, talk to me. Amen, when we was growing up, Brother William, and uh, when we was growing up, honey, amen, I got some witnesses here. When we was growing up, amen, Sister Hagen and, and Brother Ronald, we can testify that all we had was Atari and Nintendo. Somebody say amen. And the most violent game that we had was Pac-Man. Somebody say amen. And Pac-Man would gobble, 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 gobble and eat up the ghosts. Uh, can you shout hallelujah? But today they've got so much they've got to deal with. They're dealing with call of duty. Amen. They're dealing with amen, pub nation. Amen. they got to deal with these games and that, that, that's kind of promote amen violence. Amen. They, they got a grand theft auto. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the way up to number 70. Somebody say amen. So much they got to deal with. And then if that's not enough, they got so much in the world they got to deal with. They ain't got to go far, amen, to be introduced to drugs. Can you shout hallelujah? Oh, I'm coming through here in a minute. We're growing up, amen. You had to go to find drugs. Uh -huh. You had to get in your car and find drugs. You had to go somewhere sne uh, sneaky and private to find drugs. And most of the time, if you wanted some drugs, you try to find it at night so nobody knew who you were. Amen. We used to, they used to go to what they call the speakeasies that would open up after 12 o'clock a.m. and be open all the way until you couldn't drink no more. Somebody say amen. But the Today's society don't have to go long to look for nothing. You can just walk to the corner of your block and get everything you want. Matter of fact, some of you can even get it from your next door neighbor. Can you shout hallelujah? These are the days in which we're living in. And so I come to 